Hey folks, how you doing? <clears throat> well, today I'm going to show you how to uh, how to skin a rabbit, how to skin and field dress a rabbit. <clears throat> I've noticed a couple of uh, videos on YouTube that show how to do this, so I thought I'd give give it a shot at it. Um, of course, the longest video you can put on YouTube is 10 minutes at a time. So this is going to take longer than 10 minutes. So, um, let me see, am I sitting in a good spot? I need to be able to see. Huh. Uh, right there. Huh. That's a good spot, huh? Can you see? Might be better if you're looking over my shoulder. Let me try that. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, I guess that's good. Okay, so anyway, first thing you do, you go out and you kill a rabbit. <laughs> you shoot him. I got this one with an air rifle, actually, believe it or not. And uh, first day of rabbit season. Uh, today is November 1st, 2007. And I'm going to show you how it's done. At least, you know, I'm not a pro at it. I'm self-taught. I learn my own, you know, like, just by doing it. So I've always found the best way to um, do this is to gut them first and then skin them. Okay, so you spread the rabbit, put them on his back, and, you know, don't be afraid to uh, touch them. The warmer they are when you skin them, the easier this is. Now, he's already cooled down a little bit. I shot him like an hour ago, but we'll do the best we can. And this is a female. So you make your first incision just above the um, groin area. If you can actually use, this is a female, so I can actually use the groin as my entrance point and just cut. Do you see all right? Okay. And just start my uh, incision right here. It's actually, this actually works better with um, What do you call it? Uh, regular scissors. These are special uh, scissors for cleaning cleaning game, and I just find them to be a little too big and bulky. So yeah, you just um, you cut her right up the center there. Oh man, I forgot about the smell. Yeah, it, there's a little bit of an odor, of course. You know it's. This isn't uh, Bugs Bunny or anything. There's real, there are real, real odors you got to deal with. And again, like I said, ugh, there we go. Made the incision so I can get the guts. And you know, one thing I forgot is uh, my uh, gloves. Got to put gloves on. Ugh. Okay. Don't let the um, the guts freak you out. I know I had a box of gloves. Okay, oh, I'm over there. Uh, God, am I going to be able to get to them without bumping the camera all over the place? Come on, come on. there's one. Two. Uh, probably eating up our time here, huh? I'm oh, sorry, this is probably going to be a three parter. <laughs> Four parter. Uh, what do we got? We've been recording for almost seven minutes already, and I haven't really done anything. So that's okay. We'll pick it up in part two. Uh, be sure and check out uh, chriskepix.com. That's the official website. Might, maybe that might be the way you um, discovered my YouTube page. Because I'm always promoting it. Uh, okay. Got your uh, gloves on, nice and sanitary. Okay, great. Now, be real careful with that you don't rupture any of these. You don't want to burst, uh, like you know, the bladder or the uh, the rectum or any of that, because uh, that will taint the meat. Uh, yeah, there's all. You can actually, you know, what I like to do is I like to save the heart and the liver for cooking. That's um, I think that's like one of the kidneys there or something. Lots of rabbit turds in here, of course. You want to... Uh, uh, gross. <laughs> Here's the stomach. 
I will uh, examine the contents of the stomach to see what this rabbit's been eating. And what do you want to bet it's mainly grass? Uh, mainly chewed up grass. And yep, you can see that it's mainly grass. That's what it is, all chewed up, yucky grass. Okay. So, you just continue working here and uh, try to get all the the doo-doo beads out of there because you don't want that to get all over the meat. And you know, you can rinse rinse them out, of course, when you are done. This is uh, like the, uh, the uh, livers. Save that, that makes a good stew. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. And this is just the tedious part, getting the main guts out. How am I doing on time? Okay, I'm almost at six minutes. Seven, three, four, yeah, six minutes, okay. Okay, so continue working. A lot of uh, juicy red blood in there. Don't let that freak you out. This is actually something you can do in the field, just gutting them. That way when you get home, all you gotta do is uh, skin them, and you get all your stinky, nasty, uh, gross guts. You leave them out in the... Uh, out in the field, you know, wherever you are. Uh, it looks like. Okay. Like another. I don't know. I haven't gotten to the heart yet. That's in the upper uh, cavity, underneath the uh, rib cage. And that's also you want to. You also want to save that. There's actually a protective. Uh, I don't know if you can see under here. But there's a, a protective shield that protects the upper um, torso. There, I just broke it. And you can reach up there and get stuff like the heart. Uh, bunny heart. Come on out, bunny heart. There you go. There it is. That's uh, the rabbit heart there. You put that with the save pile. <laughs> um, okay. Just try to try to clean out. It's best to have um, water nearby too, like a bucket of water or something, if you can, because that can just help you keep things uh, relatively neat while you're doing this. And just try to get uh, get all the guts out that you can. Uh, clean it up as best you can, and then whatever you don't get now, you can rinse out later. Uh, when are we at time-wise? Eight minutes. I have less than two minutes left, and then we got to go on to part two. <laughs> but you know, if this kind of thing freaks you out, you know, just do what I do. I it, well, it doesn't really freak me out, but I like to play some music or you know, so you're not just constantly dwelling on the fact that you're ripping the guts out of a small animal. <laughs> Whatever helps, you know. Rabbit is a uh, very lean meat, very healthy. Um, it's good for you. I want to try to make sure that I am not, uh, uh, excuse me, covered with blood and guts when I have to pause the camera and start it again. You know what? I'm going to try my uh, a very sharp hunting knife here. This might help me get some of the skin off. Um, this is going to help you too. Before you attempt to take all the skin off the animal, you want to uh, cut the, the uh, little feet. Cut the feet off there, you know. I guess after I do this, I'll go ahead and pause it because we're almost at the 10 minute mark. Ugh. You cut the little feet off there. This is going to make skinning it a lot easier. I'm going to pause it now because I'm, a, I'm about out of time. Be sure to watch part two. You want to see how this turns out. <laughs> 